special video for you today, only because I've been waiting to do this, and I had it scheduled for last week, but then my chicken was delayed. So I just picked up my chicken, um, so I'm gonna do a special video to show you what I want to share that I do, and hopefully you can do this this summer too. So, as I mentioned, I just picked up my chicken. I buy my chicken breasts, boneless, skinless, in a big case like this. So, what I've done is I've broken them all apart, and then I went to my Epicure cupboard, and I picked out four different spices. So I've got sweet garlic chicken, enchilada, O Canada, and our sweet and spicy stir fry. And I want to show you that you don't have to just use these as a meal solution, you can use them as a marinade. So that's what I'm doing today. I've got my Ziploc bags, my Sharpie, my little bag holders. These are from Amazon. Uh, you don't have to use those. These will actually fit over a multi-pot, but most people don't have four multi-pots. I do, but I wanted to show you these because they're cheap and easy. Um, they're just called Ziploc bag holders. And I've already written on my bag, so I know what my chicken is. So here's how quick and easy you can do this. When you buy your meat, whether it be chicken breast, ground beef, steaks, pork chops, when you bring it home, instead of just throwing it into the freezer, why don't you marinate it and break it out into the number of proteins you need? And then that way, as it freezes, and then as you defrost it, the flavors are going to intensify and they're going to thaw and marinate all at the same time. It's so much easier. It's more efficient. And what I love is every time I do it, I pick randomly different flavors. So here's what I've done. I've cut the bottom of the package, poured it in, and then we just have one or two ingredients that's going to go in with the chicken. So let's get started. So first up, we have the sweet garlic chicken. If you've never tried it before, it's fantastic. Lots of great garlic flavor. Great with chicken breast, shrimp. And all we're going to add to the bag is one tablespoon of oil. So first I'm going to put in my four chicken breasts because that's what we need in our house. So I'm gonna move my box of chicken closer and we're gonna add into the bag one, two, three, four chicken breasts, and then we're going to do one tablespoon of oil. And of course I'm using my four and one spoon. And then I'm just gonna put that into the bag. And then we're gonna move on to the next one. Because we have to do this quick so that the meat does not thaw if it's frozen. Uh, or if it's not frozen, then you don't have to be as fast. So we've got our four. And into the enchilada, instead of oil, I'm going to juice a lime. So kitchen hack, take your lime or lemon, roll it on your counter, because that gets more juice. And then we're going to cut it. And of course I want to use my citrus press, which I can use for lemons or limes. And because this is a big lime, I'm going to actually put it in the lemon part portion. And then I'm going to squeeze, as you can see all that juice coming out, squeeze that lime juice into this. So it's gonna have such an awesome flavor when it marinades. And I'm going to actually do the whole lime. I'm just gonna move that chicken breast and get this other one here for you. So this is gonna be so much flavor. Okay, so the enchilada is done. Then we're moving on to O Canada. And for four chicken breasts, I am going to put, um, let's say, about four tablespoons. And you all know I don't measure, really. So four tablespoons of O Canada. And with that will be one tablespoon of oil. So we're going to put that in. And then we'll add our four chicken breasts. So one, 
two, three. And then last but not least, we've got sweet and sour stir fry. So that one I'm going to, I've already got this one planned in my head. I'm going to do a uh, chicken and pineapple kebab with this one that's marinated. So I'm very excited for that. So we'll put in our four chicken breasts. Two, three. And in that one, I'm going to add two things. I'm going to add a tablespoon of sesame oil, and I'm going to add a tablespoon of soy sauce, because that is going to really, really go nicely with the pineapple and the sweet and uh, sour stir fry mix. I think I called it sweet and spicy. It's sweet and sour uh, stir fry. So there goes our gluten-free soy sauce. If you didn't know that, make sure you watch because not all soy sauce is gluten-free. So we wanna make sure we're keeping this gluten-free because of our Procure's Great products. So now we've got everything in there, what do we do? All you do is unclip the bag and then you roll it back up. And like I said, if you don't have these, you can put the bag over one of our multi-pots or over a strainer or just try to have it stand up on its own. And then you're going to press out the air and then seal your Ziploc bag. And now comes the fun part. You get to massage that in so that all that flavor is gonna be rubbed into your protein. And as you can see, this is a fun exercise. Get your kids to help. Just make sure your bags are, are really zipped up tight. And I've already labeled it. Label before you put it in. And it's ready to go flat to freeze into your freezer and you'll have all these meals ready. So I've got, let's see. Ooh, I can do about three more bags. I'm not going to keep you on here to watch because I just wanted to share the idea, but I've already picked out what I want to do. Barbecue chicken and rib, Tuscan chicken burger, and Thai stir fry. And the great thing about this is, you don't just have to have it as chicken breast. You could just throw it on the barbecue like this, or you could make skewers, or you could do a stir fry, or you could put it into the oven on a sheet pan and do a sheet pan dinner. You could do, like with the enchiladas, um, we're going to have chicken enchiladas. So look at all these great ideas. Quick, easy, efficient. It's more economical as you buy your protein in bulk. And just get your Ziplocs, do it up ahead. Think smarter, not harder. And this summer you'll spend more time outside, not in the kitchen, and you'll be enjoying beautiful, delicious flavors all summer long. So I hope this has been a great kitchen hack for you. And like I said, you can do it with chicken, you could have steak, pork chops, um, seafood, anything you want. So let me know when you've tried this and uh, I hope your family will enjoy all the flavors you're going to create this summer as you are able to gather together again over delicious food. So thanks for joining in. I'll see you again from my kitchen.